Yo guys, it's your boy Tube. We're back with another video. Today we're going to be going over Ultimisha. Her LD just released on Global. And I was trying to lock sack it. I did manage to lock sack it today. And yeah, we're not going to re really go through her main kit because I think we she's been out for almost a year. I think everyone should really know her main kit by now. But we'll just go through it, skim through it a small bit. This is obviously an infographic by Tom Berry Chip. Link will be in the description below. So first skill is called Protein Source Plus. It's a free AOE alternating Brave Test HP attack with 150% overflow and grants the Maleficium buff for two turns. Second skill is called Hell's Judgment Plus, which is a gravity by 70%, which is a four hit AOE Brave HP attack with 110%. And, and grants the Maleficium plus two and inflicts Source's Hatred for six turns. Apocalypse is a Brave gaining into a four hit AOE Brave to AoE HP attack split damage, which doesn't add to the turn count and free ability used next turn, which grants Griever's magic and junction griever. Shockwave Pulsar, which is her LD, which is very important, which is an A hit AoE Brave to AoE HP attack with 200% split overfill split damage, which grants five stacks of Lithium and Sorcerer's Intervention for 10 turns. So yeah. This is how her buffs. Maleficium is 50% attack max brave. Greer's magic is attack max brave 25%. Sorcerer's intervention is 40% eye brave and brave regen and overflow 30%. And when Junk Greer is active, all actions have instant turn rate and don't add up to turn count. Sorcerer's hatred is 20% defense down sap. So yeah, what do I think about Ultimisia's LD? Ultimisia's LD right now brings her right up to chaos standards. Her biggest issue was probably her startup time. She had like getting up those Maleficium stacks was just so annoying. So having that instant snap of just getting the Maleficium stacks is so good. And yeah, I definitely think and having that brave regen and overflow is very important because her overflow value on her S2 is quite low. So having 30% extra overflow is very nice. However, she still has some of the same issues she does have. She burns through buffs like crazy and she kind of burns through her ld buff very easily and she her longevity still is kind of meh even with the added four skills luckily you don't have to do the setup as much but it's still not the greatest so you do have to kind of spam hp plus however i definitely don't <coughs> sorry i definitely do think her ld is fantastic sick to for our startup time and she will get her ld board soon uh, we'll do a Gable showcase coming up soon because I don't really think I should need to go over what Ult Ultimisha really does because she's been out for so long. So yeah, I'll show the gameplay showcase right now. And we're back here with the gameplay showcase for Ultimisha. Uh, this is my Ultimisha sphere. This is a terrible sphere to equip on Ultimisha. I should I did it when she first came out. So yeah, don't equip defense down. It really no. Don't equip debuff spheres on people that already debuff. Don't. So for A spheres, just boost her attack. Uh, Cloud Darkness spheres very good in my opinion. Um, who else? Guild excess sphere is very good. Just a flat out ten percent. It's really up to you what spheres you want to pick for attack. I'm not really going to go through them because they are very subjective. Sorry, artifacts. I think 108 C50 is best in slot. I went for 108 330 so I can get more cap on the S2. But yeah, 108 C50 is definitely best in slot because she does have a regen on her um, LD, which definitely help, and the C50 helps both. So yeah, I have Ultimisha, Charlotte, and Lena. And this party should just stomp the stage because with Ultimisha's regions and everything. So we are going to bring. Um, we'll bring a key's friend to mess around with. So then we have Brother Summon. I would, I could take Pandemonium, but I think that's fine. I think Shalot and Keys by itself is just enough. So let's get into the battle. As you can see, Ultimisha starts off, and she already starts off with 20k hate brave regen. And now we're just going to LD. 
we get our instant stats and pretty much cap damage. Plus. Yeah, that is very, very annoying. Okay, so he has responded to this. I think we're just going to create that cross. We have the protein source now. And I messed up the turn order for protein source. It actually goes right to left. Now Lana can deal somewhat decent damage with the physical resist gun. I want one Drake's again. We're going to HP plus again. Cap damage, which is very nice. We're going to EX Lena. I'm just going to spend some uh, S ones so we can just gravity. So we're going to hurt that floor. I think Ultimisha is ready to start going a small bit crazy. Start going a bit crazy. Oof. So now we can inflict a sap as well from Multimisha.
You guys are actually really annoying. Pockets again. Response protein source. Up damage. We're going to HP plus again. I think I'm going to leave that for the next wave. Okay. So then we push the cross. Phoenix. We're going to hit the cross. I want to do this. Light the crystal. We want to hold stuff close. I'm much going to HP plus. Then I'm going to use Darka. I'm going to load the initial wave. Then we're going to put Sack on them again. Protein swords again. So I can get my EX up. Oof. I want to refresh Wind Drakes on Ultimisha. Do this. Crystal core. And I think it's time for Ultimisha to just go a bit crazy. Let's go. Almost cap damage on <laughs> split and split. Then we go S2. 
Now they're gonna Reaper Rise, which is fair enough. And now we're going to reapply the LD buff. So now they're going to buff themselves, that's fine, Ultimisha can definitely take care of these guys. She has gravity in her kill, which is fine. We go Apocalypse. Jeez, it still broke them. Now Sojourn again. Now we'll just go rotate our EX back again. I want to host off this one. I want the battery. That was not nice at all. They dispelled, which is fine. These bosses are really just awful. I'm just gonna use normal protein swords. Run LD again. Yeah, stacks just right back up. And we're just going to health judgment again. And we're going to I'm just going to summon I'm just going to go crazy These bosses are just really annoying They actually just are a headache We go Ultimate again Now we go with Health Judgment. We're going to go with Protein Swords. Protein Swords again. I'm just going to search for a key's friend and have a bit of fun. Shalata. I'll launch this one. And we're going to just go crazy with damage. Go up here. Let's go here. Now 
now going to launch. Come on, go for judgment. Just for extra damage. I want to go for the swords. Now we're going to go for the swords again. She's on it. I want to go back out to Misha. Now we're going to go here. And case going to launch in the air and do 50k damage. Oh god, Ultimisha is just back and she's back with a vengeance. Now we can press the core. As you can see, these bosses just can't do anything with Ultimisha. She just keeps looping and looping and looping and looping. Look at Small Brave. There we go, press the generation. Now they get their turns, and Ultimisha can just shave them down even more. Ultimisha goes again. There we go, this. Even with the reduction, it doesn't even matter. And we go putting swords in this one. Then we're going to go here support this one. It's a Shalaka. Let me just go this. And he should be dead. Oof! Ultimisha just smoked that stage. And that's been your Ultimisha showcase. She actually is fantastic now. She definitely is better up to chaos standards at the moment. Like, she just rinsed. Like, come on. Look how much damage she just did. And they're all three turns, which is even better. Her having that LD, that regen, means that she can pair with regen units like Lena and Charlotta. That Charlotta's HP damage up is very good with Ultimisha. And right, and honestly, Ultimisha is fantastic. It's been your boy Tubes, and I'll see you guys later.